That's right, it's a pit viper. One of the reasons to do a night walk in Costa Rica is to spot animals that are harder to find during the day. On this night walk, we had our rental cabin host set up our reservation for us, which included this bus transportation to and from the refuge. In retrospect, I would have just booked this night walk ourselves since we had a rental car and could have driven directly there and back again instead of making stops to let others on and off. At first, we were concerned by the large volume of people here for the night walk, but the guides did a really amazing job of splitting us up into smaller groups and only crossing paths with a few other groups from time to time. The guides are really great at communicating with each other about what animals they've seen and where they are, so each group gets a chance to experience everything that's out there. Females loving. So if he's like bright new, he's healthy. If he's broad, blurry, not really. That means he's young. So she's looking for bright new male. 500 flowers a day. If it's chilly, <coughs> right? If it's warmer, not really. Take minutes. How to get going? Exactly. When you see them moving a lot, how the heartbeat? 1,300 heartbeat for a minute. When, when you see them... It's so skinny. Like a constrictor? Yeah, like semi-constrictor. Okay, why so skinny? Can you see? Mm -hmm. And that species, that species not on the floor, on the top. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's pretty low right now. He's hanging out. Yeah. But look, snails. Hmm. So in, that's enough for probably weeks because they are called bloated. Yeah. Also, I saw them like moving. They put the tongue out. That means smell. Yeah. Smell yeah. particles from everywhere. Yeah. Okay. This is the right sense between them. When you see vipers, the tongue out and hit sensors. Oh, blonde yeah. headed blonde headed tree snake. Am I on your way? No. I don't know. <laughs> but that tiny that is gonna kill you. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> But that tiny duck is going to kill you. Really? Oh, yeah? yeah. This is crazy. Okay. When you see breeding, I mean, breeding means juveniles, okay. very dangerous than adult ones. They can't oh. control. Breathing. Stick long tail, it can be green. So when, when you see them eating, they eat means grow. Second time, they eat. That means grow. So little by little. Oh, yeah. What in the world is that thing? So the, this is the front? Is this uh, no, the, the, this is behind. Yeah. Oh. So colorful. Let's see. Next, oh, yeah. please. Oh, it's, it's all right, that's a sleeping keel build toucan. Turn off the flashlight, please. Brown Jay taking a nap or... From the very end, we can feel any movement from some predator. 
another sleeping toucan. Just see his red butt. Oh, there you can see his beak. The thing is this, the wind confused that it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, they can see us uh, temperatures. Yeah. Because we are warm bloated. So they are cold bloated. Look what it's doing. Smelling us. Smelling us or smell anything to wait and catch it mm -hmm. or <laughs> Not okay. active the heat sensors Whoa. so remember the first viper that we were seeing the juvenile the baby yeah, yeah. okay that's almost adult wow. so they can get like almost a meter 10 millimeter Whoa. Wait, so this one is an adult? Yeah. Heat yeah. sensor. Mm. Okay. They can see us at uh, temperature because we are warm bloated. So they are called bloated. Look almost adult. So they can get like almost a meter, 10 millimeters. Yeah. Let's see its pits. Hold down from the tail and point the head on the floor okay. and wait for hours, days, and that to see. Wow. Okay, which one is the right name? <laughs> Botriachis lateralis. In English, and well, in any kind of language. I don't see this one from the second tour. We saw them over here, but a little bit green. The male sunner, summer tanager. Why is the reason? Made in. Documentary is about insects, like like this big. It's an amazing. Okay, only only one queen over here. But how how often do you think she lay one egg? No, seconds. Whoa, every, that's a lot every, of eggs. every thirty seconds. Oh, she lays an egg. Yes. Okay. Egg. Why is the reason? Is that millions? Yeah, four, just, five millions. Just here. Just here. Oh. And that queen, she can get like almost 10, 12 years. But that's oh. enough. <laughs> what happens when the queen dies? When the queen dies, everybody.
While we were disappointed not to see any two-fingered sloths or kinkajous on this night, we know that it's nature and not a zoo, so you never know what you're going to see or not see. We felt content with what animals we did get to see, plus the cloud forest is just such a different place to experience at night. Would you do a night walk in the rain or cloud forests? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to click the thumbs up to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of our Costa Rican adventure.